Hi everybody, Jim Cedar here from the Wine and Choir. I want to talk to you for a few minutes today about a particular Piedmonte grape that uh, is really enjoying a fantastic rejuvenation now over the last five or six years, uh, according to Luca Corrado from uh, Vietti Winery, and we have a couple of his wines here today. And that's the Barbera grape. Um, despite all the publicity in the last, uh, I'd say, decade or so for that, those famed Nebbiolos, um, the, the famed Barolos, uh, the Barbera grape has gotten a little bit lost under the surface, but it is coming back strong. It's a very affordable wine, and it's juicy. It's incredibly food-friendly, um, and this is just something that, uh, that you should really try if you haven't and, and have some at home. It's a great food-pairing wine. Um, there are two regions that, in general, um, grow the, the, the Barberas, uh, the Asti region and the Alba region, and despite the fact that they're only about 15, 20 miles from each other, uh, they have distinctly different profiles. Uh, the Alba uh, tends to have more humidity, a little bit more rainfall, and so the wines from there tend to be a bit more round, a bit more lush, almost silky and elegant of, of sorts, which is, which is really a fantastic profile, but they never lose the acidity and that great fruit that they have. On the other hand, the Asti is a bit drier, and the wine is quite a bit more powerful, a bit more masculine, uh, and you'll find uh, bigger fruits of blackberry, plum, dark cherry in it as well, sometimes smoked, tar, licorice. Um, they're, they're bigger wines. In general, the Albas, in the better vintages, they can age about 10 years, but the Astis are actually big enough that they can go for 10 years or longer, and in fact, while both wines are aged for about 14 months in Slovenian oak, uh, Luca maintains that he needs to age his Asti Barbera for about another year in bottle, and that says something about, um, about the strength of this wine. Um, it's a wine that you can pair with antipasti, with hearty soups. You can uh, certainly, with, with you know, red sauce and bolognese, it would be a magical combination, and breaded veal, pork, um, and chicken as well. So um, th these are really very easy, very food-friendly wines, and perhaps best of all, they are ridiculously affordable. And by that, I mean basically in the 20s, from one vintage to the next. So that they're really wines well worth, uh, well worth picking up. So uh, again, we have the Asti um, right here on, on my right. Um, and again, that's the one that tends to be a bit more powerful, strong, masculine, needs some time in bottle. Um, Luca even says if you're going to drink this, you drink it for the first couple of years or put it away for another few years, let it go through its sort of dumb phase, so to speak, and then try it again seven, eight years later when things have really matured and really rounded. Um, as well, the, um, the Asti tends to come from, from younger vines that are only about 10 years old, whereas the Alba uh, has vines that are 35 to 40 years old, uh, certainly m much more mature. So try either one of these wines. They're great for your cellar. Barbera is a fantastic, fantastic grape, fantastic wine to pair with food. Go get some. We'll see you next time.